Oi, you know what time it is. You're tuned in listening to the Dry That Aussie Metal Guy. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of his content when it drops. And remember, stay brutal, you mad dogs. Roof. G'day, how are you? Side of the cannon. <laughs> We're loving chaos here because this is another edition of Craig Presents the Bloody Legends with myself. Jai, that Aussie metal guy, and my ever reliable co host Jim Taylor today is electrifying Aussie hard rock fan, heavy duty. Um, they got some kick ass riffs yes. and have a killer dynamic stage presence in their local area, and they've been making some waves in the Sydney scene, that is for sure, with their latest album, A Date with Weight. And they've also got a recent hit single, Large and At Large. And we got to dive into all things heavy duty. Cheers for joining us, guys. No worries, guys. No worries, mate. Thanks for having awesome. us. Awesome. Cheers. Absolute bloody this is pleasure. Great. For the uninitiated guys, would you just kind of tell us about who you guys are and how you would describe your sound and style to someone who's kind of never heard of Heavy Duty? Right. Well, I'm Deepash. Mm. Dave, I am the um, bass player. And this is Jake. Yep. I'm the guitar player and the vocalist. And it's uh, more like, oh, well, um, right. let's say, uh, the sounds like a cross between Metallica and Motley Crue. Yeah, and a Pantera and yeah, Poison. A little bit of Pantera, a little bit of Poison, stuff like yeah. that. Hard rock, heavy metal, good for the soul. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, it's, it saved our lives. So this is very cool for uh, you guys to be on with us, man. I mean, th this is... Uh, it. it rem I, I literally went through your whole record twice. And I actually, um, I have my, I have a flying V project here and I always have it plugged in. I have some sort of instrument plugged in while yeah. I'm listening. I was like, man, these are just dudes having a good time. Yeah, exactly right. Talk, about, much, talk to us about the, oh dude, it was like, I can, I can s like see you guys just like, oh my God, we get paid to do this. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> this is awesome. And, and, and it's just. You just swung to the fences, um, and I see you're wearing an airborne shirt, and I and I love those guys too. And I was gonna say it reminded me of that. It was just like there's no, and that's what I love about you know everybody down there. It's just like we don't need to look like anything, yeah, like man. you know nothing against you know costumes and all that. You're just like, <laughs> uh, is that your stage outfit? Yep. Yeah. Give me a guitar. Here we go, man. This is this is. You know, knuckles to the concrete. That's you know, amazing. hard rock, heavy metal. It's brilliant, brilliant, yeah. brilliant. Thank you. But uh, talk to us about um, the recording process, the writing, and all that. Well, mate, you know, I, I usually get a little bit of a spark in the head, and um, I bring my ideas here to Jake, and Jake's just probably one of the most talented musicians I've ever worked with in my life, and he just <laughs> seems to bring my little things alive, mate. You know, and. It just started out as a little joke. We, we met through the covers scene on the Central Coast and we just started bringing, I started bringing little ideas around. And next thing you know, there's one song, two songs, three songs. They just started building and we just said, hey, man, like, just organically, put a little name together now and maybe do something, you know. Yeah. And we started a little original project and here's Heavy Duty, mate, you know. Just sort of built like that. It was pretty I organic, really. I'm going to let you tell the story. Where the hell did you get the name? Yes, I, I, no, I've got a good idea. <laughs> so we, we, we were starting a cover band, like a pop punk cover band with my partner, my wife, and she, yeah. we were coming up for names for like something for a female sort of type front of band. And the first, one of the first names that she came up with was Heavy Duty, but like the way we spelled it with the J-U-D-Y, and she said Heavy Duty, and that was two and a half years ago now. Yeah. And um, when we, when it was time for us to do something, we are like, what are we going to write about? And then Dave started writing about the one that we wrote, like one of the first songs was about one of the cover bands and then it just kind of steamrolled into just this fictional character. And we said, why not just call it Heavy Duty? And just, because we're singing about yeah. the big girls, you know? No, sings about, no one sings about the big girls, I mate. Love that. Yeah. Stuck. So when she said that Heavy Duty, it just was just like, yeah. and stuck in brain. Like, it's perfect. Just, 
Yeah, I went and looked it up, mate, and no one had it. And that's probably the hardest thing about getting a band's name, and no one was doing it. I've yeah. gone, you oh. kidding? Like, yeah. ACDC was taken. It's, it's like, I had a really good one, and it's like, nope, taken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only like, thing that kind of came close, because I... um. Uh, my my mum played a lot of fucking Frank Zappa and Sorry, shit like that. Dude yeah, was the heavy yeah. duty heavy duty yeah, song. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. hold on. It's um the ones I was jamming along to. I, I needed my notes and I I'm gonna uh it's called uh, Built to Last. Yep, yep, yep. Hey. <sighs> that is that uh yeah. Talk about that and, and then uh I was like, man, this is just. I, I I've been I've been jamming along to that and, and I inadvertently started playing Hangar 18 along. I was like, whoa, this is well that's a remind it reminded me of old Megadeth. Talk about that that one in particular. Yeah, built to last, mate. Yeah, mate. Look. Built to last, yes, sir. I wrote Heavy Duty from Heavy Duty, and it was just about like I said, about a big okay. girl on the main. I said to Jake, yeah. We're onto sort of something here. So one of the words in heavy duty yeah. was "girls built to last," and I, I like the idea of that. So yeah, I had the idea of built to last, and um, I was just driving in the car, and just this little lick came along to me. So I pushed a little record button on my phone and start humming it out, and then can't wait to get home. And then I start playing a, the bodgiest version I can play, and I send it through to Jake. And next thing you know, mate, there's a song called <laughs> built to last. "Everything Comes Out Pretty Organic." It's killer. Right? We write a song a week. We try to do a song a week, like every Wednesday. So, like, we've just got a sort of a good dynamic now that we we just trust the process. Yeah, yeah. Just my ideas, and he yeah. just makes them good. <laughs> Basically, yeah, yeah. It, it works. Makes, it works. You know, the formula yeah, is really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah look, I, I think sometimes maybe, um, you know, you've been playing music for so long, and you, you keep looking for that that oh, great yeah. thing when you're writing and you lose the simplicity. And I think the simplicity is where yeah, yeah. a good song is built. And then once you've got that good little solid foundation of a simple, simple concept and a simple, simple song, you can add the, the icing on the cake and all the other stuff. And you, you create a, yeah. you create a, a great song or what I think is a great song anyway, you know? So anyway, it's just L- like, you're, like ha- it's like having a, like a backbone and then it's like well that's solid and then that's it you can that's spread it. out from there that's really cool man for sure if it ain't broke don't fix it type of thing yeah you know? if it's working it's working yeah right yeah, yeah yeah um um is it always like who who being the lyricist do you guys do you guys ever trade on that or like i've got a riff okay i've got the lyrics or vice versa and anytime you, you guys do that so a lot of the time it's like um like Dave's been saying, he, he comes up with like sort of a riff sort of thing and then he'll bring it to me. And then once he brings it to me, like he does a lot of the lyrics and stuff. And then when I'm singing them, I'll obviously give him like change a few things if it's not like really fit and vocal. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. But a lot of it's like Dave will come up with like a lot of the bass lines, a lot of the ideas and the riffs and the subjects and the titles and stuff like that. And then I'll just get my hands on it and then chuck like the John Sykes or the Phil Collins on it and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, and all the like, melody. Do, do my, my right, little yeah. Little, do that, because I've like, I, I do a lot of cover stuff and have been doing for a while. I did do a couple of original stuff a few years oh, ago, yeah. but this is like an opportunity to kind of not necessarily rip off other bands, but like take all that inspiration and all that stuff that I've been listening to and all that knowledge and that and, and bring it to the table. Uh, and yeah, yeah, definitely, dude. That's what definitely. Uh, um, everything, you know? Yeah. It, absolutely um this is this is your this is your first record right yeah a date for way yeah so this got, is um, the, the one that's yeah okay okay we got one we're releasing you, uh, anything on the horizon yeah and december 14 i'm sorry you broke up december 8, december 8 sorry yeah. there we go that was the cover there, for a date with light <laughs> there it is please uh, tell me there's a t-shirt of that and i need yeah, it 100 <laughs> <man. We're> <laughs> Make sure you give I'm us your the hell out of that. Sure. Yeah. Well, where's Absolutely. The best, where is the best place people can head along and support while you're talking t-shirts so people can go grab that sweet yeah. shirt, man? Because yeah, a- at the moment, at the moment, we're just kind of running through Facebook. So if you want to jump on Facebook or Instagram and give us a message on there, and then we can sort out stuff for there. We're slowly work, working towards like a website sort of thing where you can just go and handle it over there. But at the moment, it's pretty direct through us, and you just come on the Facebook or Instagram at 
heavy duty official or something like that and you'll find us along the way and send us a message and we'll get you sorted out. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, well, you guys have been any, fairly... Any, any, anything we can do, man. Yeah, You oh, guys have also that. been oh, sorry, fairly Jay. active on the um, Sydney music scene there as well. You guys kind of... When did you kind of start yeah. playing together as a live unit? Because the album's just come out this year, but I'm pretty sure I've seen you guys floating around a bit before, yeah? No, mate. No, no. We're, we're only a new little concept. Um, we have played around a bit oh. in cover bands together. Uh, yep. But... Um, yep. Yeah, as the original project of Heavy Duty itself. Now we look, we've played um, two gigs officially as the lineup is now. We did lose a drummer. Okay. Um, so we played oh. a, a friend's party and we played at a um, at a band competition, mate. Yeah. You know, we passport got... for early competition. We played at the Stag and Hunter in Newcastle. For, yep. We got through the three rounds and we lost the last second last one. No shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just a new, it's a new, it's a new thing, mate. It's, it's building up very fast. Things are every every gig we play, something new happens, which is just encouraging us or sort of not to move more. You know what I mean? Well, you just have that great sound that would just oh, absolutely. kick ass at some of these local fucking <laughs> venues as well, dude. Yeah, for sure. We just opened up for yeah. uh, Avalanche. There's a they're an Australian hard rock band. Those guys are awesome. awesome. Yeah, so we just oh. opened up for them last Saturday, and we got a whole bunch of footage on that. So. It seems like it was only cool. our second official gig as the lineup that we've got, but it went pretty, pretty full on. Yeah. Yeah. That being wow. said, dude, um, what like film clips, man? Are you going to like bust out any film clips? I know you are in the studio uh, once a week, yeah. but so what we're we've just wrapped up, uh, not a live video clip, but a but a video clip for the new single that's going to come out. Hopefully, comes out November eight. But um, okay, we've got a. Uh, Album launch at the Duke of Enmore on December 14, Saturday. Yep. And we're going to get some footage from that. And then we're going to try and get a uh, proper film crew and stuff on Wednesday, the 22nd of January. We're opening for a Swedish new wave heavy metal band called Enforcer. I know, dude. I've just got that one here, bro. Oh. Fuck, I seen that one when you announced that, dude. I was super stoked for you, man. Enforcer are uh, fucking... A killer dude. I was, um, I think they're That's signed a cool. nuclear blast. I'm pretty sure because yeah. I was getting, yeah, I've, I was yeah. getting a, a heap of their stuff turned over and that super fucking cool and pretty rap for you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. man. We were absolutely stoked to even be considered wow. for it. And, um, Aaron from Absolute Pinnacle and Big Apache has really taken a big liking to us and he's given us a lot of opportunities. So we're really thankful for that. But we're trying to get that video, video guys for for that gig there and get a nice couple of shots and then release like hopefully not just the live video, but a live set would be nice. Get a nice half hour, 40 minutes up there would be good. And the, the girl who comes Absolutely. and does our, um, our film clips for us, who portrays our heavy duty, her name's Lilith Vondalia. Mm. If you've seen our first film clip, she's in that. Um, she'll be coming to dance live with us at the Enforcer gig as well. There we go. That's the one you've got yeah, shared. Yeah. She's going to come there and she dance is. live with us. So it's going to be great, you know? Yeah. Looking forward she, to the show. She's an actress, is she not? Yeah, she's like, like a, in horror. Um, I think she's done a couple of things like that, but she does a lot of burlesque dancing and stuff. She's in the New South Wales. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. So, if anyone's watching, wants to go Very vote cool. for Vondala, you're in that. Please feel free. Yeah, yeah. So she'll be coming right in on. for us live. So it'd be good. Yeah. Be a good show, mate. Yeah. You were talking about live. How, how important That's really cool. is the local live scene and for people to get along and support bands like yourself and, and the rest of the, the local scene? I know we're getting a ton of fucking international bands in at the moment, but, yeah. you know, to, to be able to continue yeah. to have a strong local thriving scene and have these internationals, mm. you do have to support that local scene as well and get along to shows yeah. like this, you know, and especially when <laughs> bands like yourself get like these support slots for these big bands as well, which I am so glad mm -hmm. they do that here in Australia. We've got to have that Aussie band on all of them, but how important is it for the fans to get along early, buy tickets early to these shows and make mm -hmm. sure that yeah. continues as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That Like that's like one of our main pulling powers is when we've done this passport for early competition we really had our fans come out and that was really like one of the points that got us over the line for so many rounds. And this last heavy mm. duty one that we've done with Avalanche, they come out in droves. It was just, it's really good to see that many people coming out, especially wearing the merchandise. We've got hats and a couple of shirts out now and it's just, everyone was wearing the merch. Everyone was screaming out. So even some people knew the lyrics of the songs, which is crazy to me, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that's that's, that's got to be a great feeling. That's that's what it's about, mate. Yeah. In all honesty, you know, yes, sir. Yeah, it's about feeling ten foot tall and like strong as an ox, you know. <laughs> and that kind of gives yeah, us that you can get off stage and you can play as much as you want, but when the people start like showing a reception back to you, it really like really hits home, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and it does kind of no doubt. Yeah, because we're not doing it for like for anything else, but just for a bit of fun, like you said at the beginning. It's just like uh, us, a couple of mates getting together and writing songs for the fun of it, and then it's just kind of kind of started to take a life of its own, grew its own set of legs, and now it's off on the run, you know? Yeah, well, you've got the cover yeah. band stuff you're doing, and unfortunately the state of the scene is you've got to have a cover band to kind of get paid. You've got to have a GBK. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck, man. It, it is, but... You've got to have a duo show. You've got to have a ZZ Top cover band. You've got to have a vinyls cover band. And that's, that's the beauty of our show, you know? Like, Jake's a, a veteran of the local scene playing. He's doing three gigs a week. So, like, when he gets up on stage yeah. with us, we're talking about a bloke who's done over a thousand shows. Probably more, yeah. Yeah, probably yeah, more yeah, yeah, fronting yeah, yeah. us. Collectively. You know? so yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a professional show. It's his, his yeah, season. Well, well to actually, to, it, it, that's what you got to do. You like to treat it as a profession, yeah. actually get anywhere and get yourself known. People go, oh, yeah, I can. Heavy duty. They are with this stable album. They're rocking. They're kicking ass. They don't look at the. Hundreds and hundreds of shows and the hours and hours you put in to learning your instrument, honing your craft. They just look at go, hey, here you are. It's, it's a lot, a lot fucking more than people realise. 100%, mate. Yeah, a lot yeah. of behind the scenes, yeah. 10,000 hours, you know, they say, but it, like, that's the one thing. I wish I was kind of getting paid per note. Yeah, yeah. but it's not always like that. You get a flat fee and stuff like that. But like I said, I say to a lot of people when they ask, like, what a, if it's like my main job and stuff, and like recording bands and and doing the cover stuff is my main job, and I'm like paying a mortgage off with it. And if you had have told me when I was 14 years old learning the guitar or getting into music and stuff like that, I'll be able to actually make a living off it, I would have thought you were crazy. But here we are, paying a mortgage, working three days a week, which is just like, yeah. you know, amazing to me. But all that aside, the amount of money... You, sorry, Jim, I'll let you jump in straight after this. No, no. I want to jump in on that point. No. Um, there, um, you know, as you mentioned a couple of times, this isn't about the money. Some things in life are worth more than fucking money. Like right now, Amen. your album, your music's out. It's Amen. influenced, like you said, people singing on, you belong to your music. You don't even know. You're making a connection with people that will carry on with other people. You know what it's like growing up as, oh, check this out. You go to a show, you chat to the band and yeah. your music is going to be around and you've influenced other people in your life. So when we're shuffled off of this mortal fucking call, you've made some sort of impact in this bloody world. Yeah. Something right. at least. Yeah, something, something at least, that's for sure. Something for sure, yeah. All yours, Jim. Jim no, no, I apologize. It had jumped and it was like a... Aha video. Uh <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the <laughs> oh me <laughs> pull me in the picture. What's going on? Um but like uh when you that's the thing that, that makes you the richest person on earth doing doing just playing and then being like whoa people that connected you know, with these people, they're wearing, they're invested. They got the hat on, they got the shirt on. That meant something to me. That's, if you're not, if you're not, you got to play for heart and soul. Sure, and it's man. like, that's why we love it, dude. And it's like, that's why we, we I, I especially think in the metal community that it's, it's a lot more like, all of us look like the Mongol Empire. <laughs> it's like, yeah. oh, hey, where are you guys coming from? Oh, we're coming across the steps. Oh, hey, we're going to head this way too. Why don't we, yeah, let's do this. And that's what a tour should be. You know, everybody's connecting. It's There's no frills. There's no, and big up to the bands that have like, you know, the big, I love that, you know. Uh, but then sometimes it's like, man, that's that's the goal to be that and then like there's you guys and all of us down here that that's what i want people seeing it's like yo we saw um xanax five whatever band and then dude did you guys see avalanche with jake and the boys it was intense dude 
I will go see them every time they come through here. And then you establish that. That's a, that's a dude. That's the, that's the richest feeling in the world. And that's very cool. And I can hear that in your playing. I was like, they're like, they're just having a good time. I can hear it, dude. Yeah. And that's anyway. That's why I'm like, that would happen. Too, like you get to make the play individually, <laughs> which is really good. Small shows, some yes. of the local shows are the bloody best. I um, was talking to someone, they commented something about because I was at the Nile show. Oh, man, I'm going to a local show. And I'm like, dude, those have been some yeah. of the best. I've seen bands like Hidden yeah. Intent and Headbore and Truth Corroded, local bands in the Adelaide area, like more times than I've seen any band. And I've had the fucking greatest time doing it. And it's like a, a home team thing. You know what I mean? I'm not a huge yeah. sporting yeah. person, but like for me, my sporting teams right. are the bands I love. And not only that, you, you fucking, you go up and say day to them at the merch stand, then you know, become mates with them. You bump into like people you only see at metal gigs and you can have the shittiest week and you go there and you just embrace like a fucking a family. That's one thing That's I, it. I do love That's about it, the local scene and bands playing in it. I think the music and, and the scene in general is a escape for a lot of people. Just to get together and um have that oh thousand out, percent you know sir. what I mean thousand music percent very accepting it accepts everybody cut loose mate you know lets everybody come in that's as a it family group you know yeah, yeah for sure Nothing that's like it like heart beat the cure the soul <laughs> yeah, yeah. um yeah it is coming on to Halloween I'm gonna ask guys I should have given you a heads up what like, Jim's gonna love this he's a mad horror fiend too dude yes. what's your go to Halloween movies dude. Go to Halloween movies for me, man. Look, I've always yes. just liked the Conjuring's. Yeah. At the moment, man, I'm into the Conjuring. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, hundred percent. But it's just I, I, what I love about it, mate, is there's just so many of them. So you can just sit there and do the do the uh, oh, yeah. marathon, do the whole marathon, mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, my go my go-to horror stuff's the six p.m. news. Yes, dude, isn't that fucking? Oh. That's more horrific than any shit you're gonna see, dude. Yeah, yeah man. Fucking a. I it like it. Is... A good answer. Good yeah. answer. Yes. Uh, killer guys. That's awesome. We, we might wrap it up, Jim. You got anything else you want to chuck in there, my friend? Uh, we we. I'm just gonna say, gentlemen, anytime you are welcome on any time. Uh, we'd love you how uh have you on the legends. Uh, we are now um uh. We are we are crack.com now. And actually, if there's anything we can do to help you guys, uh promotion. Hell, if you just want to pick up a guitar right now, I, I'm hooked up to it. It's like, dude, let's do a cover of something. It's and jam, we'll do that. Man. But what I'm saying is we are here to support everyone and guys like you. Awesome, man. We need, every- people, we need people like that, you know? We need people like that. Support is everything, people. So jump over to Facebook, buy a shit ton of merch, go catch Heavy Duty at some of the shows, see him at Enforcer, buy a fucking heap of merch off him there as well. Guys, do you have any last words, shout outs, thank yous, or anything else you'd like to add in there, my just, friends? Just thanks for having us on. Thanks for all the fans that tune in. And thanks for everyone that comes to the shows and supports us. You're amazing. And also, mate, chuck Bless us those boys. addresses. We'll send you some shirts out. Absolute bloody legends. Thank you so well, very sir. much. Everybody, go get some heavy duty. Thank you, guys. Chucking in the stereo. Crank it up really bloody loud. Cheers, guys. Hey, nice. boys. Cheers. Oi, you're tuned in to Jive That Aussie Metal, guys, so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of his sick content. And remember, stay brutal, you legend.